Hi there. Today's Surface Pro tip is touch keyboard tips and tricks for the Fold Creators update. A tip that I didn't mention in my last video about the touch keyboard is if you go to the numbers and symbols panel down on the left hand side, and if you press and hold on any one of the numbers in this panel, you can quickly get to subscript and superscript numbers. For example, if I wanted to type something like meters squared or feet squared, I could just press and hold on the number two and go to the superscript two, which annotates meters squared. Or if I was writing a chemical symbol or annotation, I could type in H and then two, just press and hold on the two and go to the subscript number two, which puts the little two down the bottom for my chemical symbols. The other thing that's changed in a good way is the emoji keyboard. So if you click on any of your keyboard options, there'll be an emoji symbol down the bottom here. And you'll see that the emoji keyboard layout has changed. Instead of having a left and right arrow key on the left hand side, we can now swipe across using our finger to reveal different sets of emojis. This is, works a little bit more like you'd expect it to compared to say your smartphones. And across the bottom here, we do have our different sets of emojis. Going back up to the keyboard options button in the top left corner, let's switch across to the handwriting panel and take a look at what's changed in there. This now works very similar to the way it used to work in Windows 7. The handwriting options in Windows 7 were actually really good. And when we went to Windows 8 and then Windows 10, we kind of lost a few of the cool features that we had back there in Windows 7. They're now back into this Windows 10 handwriting panel. And for those that have been using tablets with pens for a long time, they're really welcome features. Across on the right hand side, you're gonna see a couple of handy additions to this input method. First of all, a left and right cursor arrow. It now allows us to move our cursor back and forward using these handy little buttons. We've still got the space and enter keys that we've always had in this handwriting input panel, but now we've also got quickly accessible a symbols and numbers option and an emoji keyboard. This is really handy because handwriting an emoji out is really not possible. So being able to work that into your text very quickly and easily is now an option for you using that little button there. The way this panel works has also changed. So now when we write text in the panel, it converts to type text on the fly and it still types that in for us wherever our cursor is on the screen. But you'll notice that this typed up text in the panel is now editable for us. The other thing that's different is that the writing panel is now continuous. So if I write some words here and I just pause for a second, you'll see that the words will slide across to the left, giving me more space to work with. So if I want to, I can now go back using touch to edit previous words that I've written. So there's a few new features in the touch keyboard in Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.